Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija, your minister of soul. What you want, ooh, baby, I got, ooh, what you need, you know I got it. <laughs> anyway, listen, this is, this is a story time. I haven't done a story time in a while. <clears throat> and I'm going to do this story time about Andre the Giant. I don't know if I've done Andre the Giant, so I'm going to start with him. And then I'm going to, I told y'all, I don't, can't remember if I told y'all this story. It just so happened I saw his daughter. And it reminded me of the story when we were at the circus. It's my brother, Jake, and, well, that's what we call him, and myself and his friend. Um, we'll just call him RJ and Anita will we'll make up these names as we go along. So there was like four or five of us, right? And we went to go. We, we used to love to go into those tents, into those, um, you know, freak shows and stuff. We saw one with the alligator woman. Oh, my God. Her skin was hard. She let us feel it. Because, see, back in the day when you had those kind of um, deformities, the families didn't have anything to do but to put you in a circus so you could make money. And I don't mean that little um, disability check that they was getting. They was like, uh-uh, we need to make money to survive with these kind of kids. So a lot of these kids grew up in the circus, and people did. That was really freaks is what they call them. So this particular um, day... After we was rubbing on the lady, she had the hard ass skin. She let you come up and touch it and everything. Um, and then the last one on the list was freaking Andre the Giant. Okay? A lot of people don't know Andre the Giant traveled with the damn circus before he got on the wrestling scene. So he was sitting up at the, um, you know, behind the ropes. And then the chair. <laughs> and so we we were staring at him, right? Because dude was big. And we, we was trying to figure out was he black? Was he his you know, his hair was was like kinda kinda um coarse and his skin wasn't, you know, real pale white or anything. And he had these gray eyes or dark gray. He just looked. He just looked weird. And he had a big ass face. So we were teasing uh, <laughs> my brother and saying how he had a big face, like. Um, and all this was in front of the ropes, right? And he was still sitting there. And I don't know. We just got into our own zone and was being bad. Kids are bad without their parents. Okay, so, so for those of y'all who think my kid would never do that, and nah, 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 I'm saying that's a damn lie. Your kid would, okay? Because we did all kinds of crazy stuff that if our parents was anywhere around, we would have been buked for that. Okay, so <coughs> anyway, we, I think we asked Andre the Giant a few questions at first. And he answered them. And then the tent started thinning out. But we stayed up in there. And of course. Like any kids. Especially black kids. You know it was still kind of racist back then. We kept asking him questions. And then we were staring at him. And doing you know. Going damn he big. Look at his hands and all kinds. Man. Andre stood his ass up. He said get out of here. <laughs> you ain't never You ain't never seen nobody Bust out of a tent The way we ran Out of there From dude He just told us to get the hell on And we ran out It was horrible It was 
But when I look back on it, it was funny as hell. It wasn't funny then because we were so scared of him. And we didn't know if he was about to come through the ropes. And nobody looked back. We just hauled ass out. <laughs> if y'all want to hear more of my story time uh, uh, stories. Because I got my story times and the things uh, I aim, we talk about on, on, on um, Patreon. They won't allow to go up on YouTube. So, if you want to hear more story times, and some of them are pretty freaking crazy and funny and uh, R-rated and X-rated and the rest of the rated, you got to join me on Patreon. You really do, because that's where I'm letting those stories go at. I can't, I can't allow um, YouTube to just strike me just for having fun. I mean, really. So with that being said, y'all, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share my channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.